Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SAS Times Acceleration. I am the future Dr. Chelsea Barrington. Yes, you are. And this is the future Dr. Rowe. Yes, I am. And today... Today you get a very special treat because today I get to win and Chelsea gets to lose. It's not important who wins or loses. It's more about it's the because you're the one who always gets all the attention and this time I get all the attention. Anyway... Because you're not the only one who has sophisticated ways of getting attention. Today, we have a very special topic that was uh, specifically requested, specifically, specifically, by Mr. Stephen Kane of Ancaster, Ontario. Woot woot. The sonic screwdriver. The doctor's weapon. Also rapiers and uh, found objects. His brain is huge and dripping with smartness. Well, what I want. You okay? I want to yet. The sonic screwdriver is a metallic stick with a glowy thingy at the end. Well, not the old doctors. That uh, opens electronic locks. Because those have the little radar dish. controls yeah. machines and things. Actually, there's a lot of conflict in the series as to whether or not the do doctor's sonic screwdriver can actually control all mechanical objects. Such as screws. Yeah. But in this particular argument, we're going to be dealing with the inclusive screwdriver because that's the one that most contemporary fans know. And Chelsea's going to be arguing that the doctor can't do whatever he wants with the sonic screwdriver to anything that is not made of wood. Correct. Whereas Roe will be arguing that through the power of sound, no. do you know? I found something better. Well, that's cheating. When you do it, you call it creative problem solving. Yeah. Mm, okay. And then you tell me that I fear change. Uh, okay. I'm going to be arguing that you don't actually know what the sonic screwdriver is. All you know is what you've seen it do, and that is not an appropriate basis for understanding how it actually works. What? Sure I do. Sonic as in sound. Screwdriver as in mm -mm. driver of screws. No, what no. are you talking about? Those are translations. Translations from what? Gallifreyan. When a character in Doctor Who says the word sonic screwdriver, they're actually translating concepts into English from the language of the Time Lords, a, a civilization that is far more advanced than our own, as you have previously stated. So? So, this device is obviously not a screwdriver. Look at it. A screwdriver is made for screws, yes? Well, yeah. So and how is a sonic screwdriver made for screws? Yeah, it's not a screwdriver. Screwdriver is obviously just the closest word in English to whatever it is the doctor's trying to describe, and that is not nearly close enough for you to deduce anything at all about anything. Nah. He says it works with sound. No. He says, well, it screws things sonically. On a good day, we fight off monsters with it. And that is inconclusive. inconclusive. No, he says sonic as in sound. Mm -mm. Whether Look. or not the sonic screwdriver is a tool of sonication is not something the doctor ever takes pains to clarify. And why? Because your tiny, puny human brain is not capable of understanding everything that it's capable of. You have never understood what a sonic screwdriver is. You can never hope to understand what a sonic screwdriver is. Because you will never understand the full scope and majesty of Gallifreyan technology as it is a... a, a what? Exactly. created over thousands of... Let me stop you. Huh? What are you trying to accomplish? I'm trying to win. You are. Well, thank you. <laughs>